Hey everyone, this is Lola Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and I'm back here to the sound design channel with another diva tutorial. Today we're recreating an ARP called Farabolinos from a Melodic House Academy pack that you can find it over here in the description below. And it sounds like this, this is how it sounds without anything else. Now with the EQ and in context. And if you want to check the MIDI. But essentially that's it and let's get started with our tutorial and let's get down to diva we have diva over here right down in this tutorial and we're gonna solo it this is how it sounds like we're gonna deactivate the eq and the kickstart just so we listen to the preset by itself now let's get started here a dual vco economic and we're gonna choose two saw waves but the first saw it's gonna be a four and the second an eight and in the second one, we're going to pick a little bit of the tune as well. And we're going to also push the level a little bit down of the second oscillator. Essentially, that's it with the oscillators. Now we're going to go into the high pass filter. We're going to choose a high pass pulse. And we're going to choose it at two. Essentially, this is going to take a little bit of the low end of the sound. Now we're also going to choose here a UB filter. But before we do anything with the UB filter, we're going to start with the envelope. So analog, and essentially we're going to put the sustain all the way down. We're going to pick this cutoff over here, the decay, and put it a bit down. And the release a little bit up. But you can see how the notes are getting on top of each other. They have a lot of tail in the sound and we don't want something like this. So because of that, we're going to pick this mode over here. We're going to put it to mono. So now only the last note has a lot of release because all the other notes are being cut because of the mono selection. But in addition to that, what we're going to do is we're going to pick the velocity and put it a little bit higher. So essentially notes that we press a little bit harder are going to sound a little bit louder as well. And we're also going to pick this keyboard and put it something like this. And essentially the notes that we press a little bit higher in the octaves, they're going to sound with a little bit less decay and less release. But now let's go over here into the filter. We're going to pick this filter, but it's something like this. We barely listen to the sound. Now we're going to modulate this with envelope two. And envelope two is going to be a digital oscillator. No sustain here. And the decay, we're going to pick a little bit and put it a little bit down. And also the release a little bit up as well. Same thing as what we did over there. So velocity, we're going to pick the velocity and put it a little bit up. But essentially, this velocity is going to control the amount of cutoff. So if we press those notes harder, it's going to sound with more cutoff. And essentially the same thing with keyboard tracking. If we press the notes in higher octaves, it's going to sound with a little bit less decay and less release. But in addition to that, we also have to pick this keyboard tracking and activate it a little bit as well. And essentially now, if we press notes higher in the octave in addition to being a little bit smaller in decay and release they're going to be a little bit more open in the cutoff as well no fm no resonance nothing more over here and we're going to go into the other sections of this preset over here so let's go to the tuning in the tuning we're going to choose a vibrato of 16.5 something like this and we're going to pick this mod wheel and put it all the way down otherwise we don't listen to anything now we listen to the vibrato of the sound. We're going to choose over here a sign random one second. You can see a little bit of change in the sound and we're going to delay the start of this a little bit as well. So essentially this vibrato will only start after a little bit. After it starts, we're also going to modulate this rate over here with a little bit of the rate over here. So it's going to be a little bit faster than one second. We barely listen to it, but if we pick the vibrato and put it a lot up, we listen to more of it. 
So in addition to that, we're going to pick this glide too, and we're going to pick essentially and put it a little bit higher. The glide two is different from the glide one because the glide two is basically saying that the notes, if they, we play the notes together at the same time, they're going to glide at different rates. That's essentially what the glide two is telling us. And in addition to that, we also have to activate the ARP over here. And we're going to choose a clock of 116. And we're also going to choose three octaves. But now if we play this, you can see it does an ARP feeling to it, but we're not listening to this because of the MIDI that we're playing. So in addition to that, we're going to choose over here six voices and we're going to change a little bit of how the sound sounds around the spectrum. For example, we have to first pick this envelope too and put it a little bit over here. So essentially, it's going to make the sounds louder as we press a little bit harder in the sound. Same thing with the pan mod. We're going to choose this a random and we're going to put this almost a little bit like this. So you can see that the notes go left and right, left and right. Now, in addition to that, we're going to go into the trimmers. And in the trimmers, essentially, what we're going to do is the detune amount is going to be a slightly down. And we're going to detune these notes a little bit differently. So essentially, they're not the same thing for every note. And this is 100% up to taste. You can see that essentially it didn't change anything over here because we're choosing mono. So we're only changing this one over here. If we change a little bit more and increase the detune amount, you can see how much it detunes. And that's what we wanted to do. So let's go back a little bit. Now, in addition to that, we're now going to the effects section of this. We're going to go and activate over here a delay, and then we're going to activate a plate reverb, but that's going to be afterwards. The delay first, we're going to first put the dry to 100%, the side a little bit higher, but we don't want that much low wind coming from it. So we're going to high pass this a little bit. We're going to pick this feedback and increase it a lot. We're also going to increase the wow a little bit, which makes the delay a little bit more like a tape delay, like an analog tape delay. But now we have to change the tempo of the sound. So center is going to go all the way down and left is going to go a lot up. Same thing for the right. You can see it kind of creates like a ping pong effect to the sound. And now lastly, a plate reverb. A little bit higher here, a little bit smaller here, with a lot less dampening. So essentially the higher frequencies are dampening a lot faster. The diffusion is going to go just a tad down, but what we have to change mostly is the wet sound. So essentially the dry is going to go a little bit down, but the wet is going to go also a lot down. Now, if we listen to this in context, remember that we had to boost a little bit of the loudness here. Taking a little bit of the low end here. And adding a little bit of tight chain. Maybe we can take a little bit of that loudness. And essentially, that's it. I hope you liked the preset. And if you did, you can hit the like button over here below. If you love it, you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any other future videos from the Sound Design channel. This is Leo already from Abstract Music Lab. Cheers. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, please check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs. Also check our ready-to-use and club-tested Serum presets. You can browse by the genre and style you're looking for or get the incredible deal with the full Serum preset button. Thank you for listening and now let's get back to your tutorial.